Hi guys, Paul here, and this is going to be a quick rundown and overview on the Headplay goggles, and these were sent out by Headplay themselves. So thank you very much for sending these out. We've been actually looking forward to reviewing these guys and see exactly what they're like. So um, this is the box that comes in, quite a large box, and what we'll do is show you what's in the package. Okay, so what you have in the package is the manual, and you have two boxes and what we'll do we'll start with the larger box first and we'll run through exactly what you have in that okay so these are the items that actually come in the package we'll start with the cabling we have two cables uh, essentially this is going to be your power cable uh, and this will plug into the goggles and what we also have is another lead which will be your you'll be able to supply power to the actual goggles and you'll also be able to actually provide video in to the goggles. So say for argument's sake, you're using uh, 1.2 or 1.3 or 2.4 of a video or another uh, video system altogether, you can use this to actually provide video input into the goggles themselves. So what you have here is a secondary lens. Uh, it comes with two lenses. One is the F220 millimeter and also an F330 millimeter lens. So uh, I believe the wider one is the one that's actually in there. So what we'll do, we'll probably uh, take the wider one out eventually and try it with this one and see exactly how it is with less of a field of view. Now we also have an FPV antenna, a 5.8 gigahertz antenna. We probably won't be using this guy. We'll probably use a uh, clover leaf or something along those lines, actually a skew planer. And in this package, we have the battery. And this is a 2S, uh, 1000 milliamp hour battery. Looks very similar to the Fat Shark ones. Has a Velcro already pre installed, so that's nice. And finally, we have these guys. And this is the foam padding. If you look carefully, there's, um, there's two types a thinner one and a thicker one, depending on which you want, which it is that you want to use. So we'll probably end up going with a thicker one. I think that's going to probably be the go. And it basically comes with an AC adapter and it has a number of plugs depending on what part of the world that you're from. But we'll probably be charging this via the LiPo charger that we have for our RC aircraft. So here is the uh, star of the show and these are basically the goggles. Um, the finish on them looks quite good. We've actually tried these on and had a go at them and they do seem to be working well. The strap is what looks to be a GoPro strap. Uh, that's perfectly fine because these are really, really good straps, these head straps. And um, all you essentially do is get this power lead and connect this into the actual uh, goggles. And I'm not sure how well you can see this, but there's a little slit in here. And you need to just make sure you have that facing up when you put them in. and you'll find it'll click into place. That wire there will slide through through the head strap there, like so, and that's pretty much good to go. Over here we have our Velcro that will allow us to place the battery in place, and that's pretty much all there is to it. There's just a matter of actually powering this guy up. I'm not sure how well you can see in there. I'll get the menu up. And there we go, that's the menu system. So as you can see, it's really, really clear in there. Quite impressive. So just running through the goggles themselves, as in an overview, uh, this is where the antenna obviously goes. We have our channel and band selector, and the way that works, so running through the bands, uh, the way you do it is just basically hold this button down. That's band one, band two, band three, band four, and just clicking it will cycle through the actual channels. There we go. Uh, that's basically all that's on these goggles other than this side here, where the menu actually is, uh, what you have is your source. This will allow you to select your AV inputs. You've got AV1, AV2, uh, which is your um, video input, 
and uh, then you've got HDMI also input. So AV1 will be the receiver itself, the internal receiver you'll be using. Um, up, down uh, for channels and menu system, etc. Got volume control. These will also be used for your menu. And finally, you have a menu button to cycle through the actual menus and uh, make adjustments to the goggles. And you also have a HDMI input over here. Uh, the LCD in these things is really, really sharp, um, very glossy looking. Um, it's kind of like uh, grabbing a little iPad mini or something like that and stick it in there, sticking it in here. It's actually a really, really sharp image. The image I found really, really large on these, probably too large for my liking. So we're probably going to swap lens and reduce the size. Um, but having said that, you're not going to really know until you actually fly with it. So our plan is to actually try them out uh, tomorrow and see exactly how we go with them. But the build quality on these looks superb. Obviously the LCD they've used is actually a high quality LCD. So all in all, these things do look impressive. Now as far as the pros and cons with this go, look, it's, it's early stages at the moment. Uh, it's really, really hard to say. Initial thoughts, these things are impressive. Uh, the vision out of this was very, very impressive comparing them to our um, sky zones. Um, I'll run through more details on that in a later video, but uh, the image quality on these things is superb. Now, having said that, a lot of people claim they're going to look pretty dorky wearing these, and I'd have to agree there's no two ways about it at all. But then again, I don't think we're um, really leading in the fashion department when it comes to FPV. So uh, I'm not sure how much of an issue that's going to be. I think the biggest issue with these for me is the actual physical size of them and storage, etc. But having said that, look, initial thoughts, very impressive. Um, looking forward to trying this out on the field and see exactly how we go with them. And hopefully we can get a few different people to actually provide us some feedback on these so you get a little bit more than just uh, Thomas and my perspective on these goggles. Anyway, thanks for taking time to watch this video and I will catch you guys later.